Hey kids, it's me, Hannah. You didn't know that because this is my first video. But also, I run a blog called SoCal Experiences, which after this video you guys are all definitely going to check out and read. I decided to make this video because there were a lot of fans who were talking about the Shawn Mendes Spotify fans first event. I actually got to go to this event and I just came back from it. I just wanted to give you all my experience whether you are going to one of these private performances in the future or you just want to know what it's like to have a private performance with Sean. I got to go as my cousin's plus one. She RSVP'd the minute she got the email, so she was on that right away. I'm guessing that maybe around 100 people were on the guest list, and with that they brought their plus one, so there were about 200 people overall. The email told us that it was going to be an immersive experience of Sean's new album, it was going to bring it to life, and none of us really knew what that meant, so we just kind of went into it hoping that it was not too sketchy, that they literally did not tell us the location. Um, we didn't even know where we were going the day of the event. They just told us a meeting spot, which was the UCLA parking lot, and then we went from there. So our meeting time was about 5.30, but my cousin Shannon and I, we went at about 4.30. People were already lined up, so we just decided to walk around the campus. <laughs> Go Bruins, you rejected me. So we lined up um, at around 5.15, and, and the line was, um, it was already pretty long at that point. They told us that the event would start at 6, and we probably did not start getting checked until 6.30 or so, which was a little bit frustrating, but basically what they did was they checked us in in the parking lot. Um, they had two or three women checking us in at the front. They asked if we were 21 because apparently there was going to be some alcohol there, but we are not 21. They asked Shannon for her names, and she was the one who reserved our spots. So. so when they checked us in, they gave us this wristband and it says hashtag Spotify um, fans first. I don't know if you can see it, but if you do happen to go to one of these Spotify events, you'll probably be getting one of these wristbands. So we lined up to go get bags checked and then get scanned through security and then we were on our way to the shuttle. And these shuttles are like really nice. They're not a school bus, okay sweetie. So it has a sliding door and it kind of looks like a party bus and um, they have these plush like leather seats and then lights around the bus so we sat near the front because we were just trying to get a good view about where we were going because we really had no idea all we knew was that even though we were meeting at ucla the actual event would be in beverly hills i was honestly really hyperventilating like I really wanted it to be somewhere cool, but I wasn't like, they could have kidnapped us. I was hoping it would be somewhere kind of intimate, not just your normal concert venue, but either way, I would have been thankful. We did a lot of twists and turns throughout the route, which makes sense because they wouldn't want us to know for sure how to get to this private place, wherever it was. After a 15 or 20 minute drive, we eventually got there and it was in this neighborhood of Beverly Hills and we saw the gate kind of open and some people part of Sean's team standing outside of this gate. So we finally got dropped off there and we walked in and we realized, oh my gosh, we're at someone's house. Like, we're on someone's property. We don't know who it belonged to, but we were basically at a private backyard party in Beverly Hills with Sean Mendez. We walked in and there was this little information booth um, which was labeled and everything that was labeled what had the um, Shawn Mendes font and the floral design and the same color scheme he used. So at the information booth they gave you these maps and it says um, Spotify presents Shawn Mendes and this map gives you information about the backyard and just the party and what was available. So we were just freaking out because we 
didn't realize how free we were to roam and how much work would be put into this. We thought it was just going to be, you know, maybe a simple little performance, um, and then he would be on his way. Here's a little video giving you a tour of the backyard. Um, excuse my annoying voice and my overexcitable energy, but maybe this will give you a bit of an idea of what the event was like. Okay, so we are here. Um, I don't know where the heck we are, but it's gorgeous. Okay, so we have like song names here. Um, it's like some really hidden backyard thing. Oh, filming is taking place. All right, gotcha. So it looks like a backyard part. We can explore here if you want. I just. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so here we are, and uh, we are just. Okay, so we have like his meat and green thingy. We got some uh, liqueur, but no food. So there's some nice mansion thingy. I don't know how you get up there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are we doing here? Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait Shannon, look, look, look. What's over here? This is where you relax and maybe hang out with Sean himself. Not that I know of. Kind of insane. So we have to take pictures. What do you want to do? I just want to record everything. Like I don't know what to do with my life. Okay. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so once again, here are the streams. Here's some lanterns. Alright, so here's a little uh, garden pathway thingy. Who knows where it leads? Put up. Alright, whoever's house you, we are at, uh, you did a great job! Alright, so this is where it leads. We got this. Alright, so we have see, some uh, flowers. They're botanical. Um, I didn't show you guys earlier, but that's where like the booth is where you got your little program. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, here's, oh, there's a map inside here. Okay, so here's we go. Oh, it's essential oils, refreshments, bathroom, playlist garden. We need the bathroom. I'm part of this little back uh, backyard party. This is the area where you can. Oh, here's like where you can go to boomerang. Um, they also have people serving food. And this is where the stage is and refreshments ultimately. Um, I told you that was alcohol. <laughs> I, I told you it was alcohol before, but it's actually there was an essential oil station, and the alcohol is over here. Um, here's the stage so you can see. talking about. Oh it's this thing. So that is apparently like this guitar case thing. Oh my gosh. She's freaking out. Um, we're gonna find more food. All right. So none of us were allowed to go in the house during the event for obvious reasons. But while we were in line for the bathroom, Shannon looked up at the house and was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's Sean Mendes right there, and there he was on the patio or porch of his house, or not his house, whoever's house it was, he was there. But nobody else really noticed, it was just us two, so we kind of kept it on the DL. Um, also, the bathroom's really nice, so yeah, I think Shannon got pictures of that. This house thing where they're like hanging out beforehand, right? And Shannon just saw, saw Sean Mendes, we just saw him, and she's like a... Uh, I can imagine Wait, what she's doing. Can't wait to see his fans. Oh. Is she a security guard? Just... Well, I just realized the entire time while I was filming that, my light wasn't on. So you just saw our little video of us walking around.
There are some parts I needed to clarify. The part where I said that it was a, an alcohol station at the beginning, that was actually essential oils. And basically they had all these essential oil samples that you could smell and then whatever one you liked you could um, take it home with you in a sample. But they ran out of bottles before we could get a sample. <laughs> Sad. Unprepared. Oh, okay. They also had servers at the event, um, and I've never been to an event like this where you had servers walking around with their platters of food just like ready to serve you. So they had these bowls of fries with um, some sort of sauce on it. I don't know what it was, but I didn't get to try it because those were going fast. But they also had chicken with um, sriracha dip, dumplings, and mochi. The stage itself was actually really small. We didn't get to see it that well because people were already crowded around it by the time we got there. So we decided to just stand in the back and enjoy ourselves and dance. Around 7.30 or so, Sean finally came out and he opened with Lost in Japan. He did six songs in total. Um, after Lost in Japan, it was Where Were You in the Morning? Uh, something youth youth let's just say youth I put a video of youth in here because I wasn't jamming up to that as hard so yeah enjoy never lose inside of the one I keep inside now I know it yeah I know it youth came mercy there's nothing holding me back and then in my blood he did some audience interaction which was awesome but he didn't interact with me which you know would have been great if he did but I'm not bitter afterwards we were just kind of free well they told us to go back to the shuttles to take us back to UCLA um, but honestly like they were really not strict there they let us roam around for a little bit more um, they even let us steal some flowers from the display, so let me show you what I stole from Sean Mendes. Here is um, something from his photo wall. This is also from his photo wall because I have to get the classic red flower. Um, this is dying. This is already dead. It's nasty. And then this is from the Lost in Japan floral display. It actually, it's so fancy, I've never seen something like this before, but it, they have like a little water compartment for it. Don't worry, I'm not the only one who stole, everyone is doing it. <laughs> we got in the line for the bathroom again because Shannon wanted to see one more time if she could see her husband. My husband, I mean everyone's husband, America's husband's. After she got in the bathroom, uh, I saw Sean walking from the house. So there were a few fans already congregated like by the barrier to the house, but I was standing with them when we saw Sean coming out and he was walking to his car. And um, he only took pictures with one girl because it was her birthday the day before and her dad was begging so you know it was very nice of him to stop for her he told the rest of us sorry guys like I have to go I don't know where he was going like literally the rest of his team was still at the house just chilling it took a while to get back on the shuttle the ride back to UCLA was shorter than the ride to the mansion probably just because the first time around they didn't want us to you know track where we were going but I think Shannon <laughs> She pinned the location of the house onto her phone, so we have that for keepsake. But anyways, um, I'm so thankful to Shannon and to Spotify and Sean Mendes and his team for this experience. Uh, we had such a good time, and I hope that many of you get to experience it in the future. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to read my blog, follow it, 
subscribe to this. Maybe I'll put something else. I don't know. Alright, thank you.